Hello, learners of Latvian. This is Ilze and Irina. Today, we are coming back not only to give you a fun and valuable Latvian language lesson, but we are also going to talk about learning strategies for those who want to master communicating in Latvian. Yes, we used to create videos for those who are trying to learn Latvian, but while communicating with them, we got to learn about the typical hurdles and blocks that people see in their way. That's right. And the typical hurdles, one of the biggest is that people simply don't know how to learn. There, and also there are not enough people who know how to teach to learn this very difficult language, Latvian. I agree. Latvian is not an easy language. So it's not enough to just know it. The role of skilled teacher is crucial in learning Latvian. I know it from my own experience. Absolutely. Teacher's role in learning anything is crucial. While working with my Latvian language students, I have learned from them how to be a better teacher. And I'm willing to share my knowledge to those who also want to teach Latvian and do it well. Ilze, you have been an exceptionally good teacher. But instead of bragging about ourselves, why don't we demonstrate how we teach something that is difficult to master in Latvian? I accept the challenge. And even more, I suggest that we teach how to go about learning the most difficult thing there is to master, which is Latvian verbs and their changing forms. Let's do it. I suggest that we first focus on teaching some verbs and their meanings. How about these six? Est, which means to eat. Zert, which means to drink. Zirdet, which means to hear. Redzet, which means to see. Gribet, which means to want. And boot, which means to be. I like your idea. I just wanted to mention that you named the infinitive forms of verbs, but when we hear them in sentences, their forms may differ. The one verb, the forms of which would differ the most, is the verb boot that you mentioned, which means to be in English. And just like in English, be changes radically. So does boot in Latvian. For instance, is is one of the forms of to be in English. And the Latvian for is, is ir. I love your explanations, Ilze. But to remind our viewers the verbs, if you don't mind, I will ask you to pronounce them in your native Latvian pronunciation. I don't mind it at all. Great. So what's the Latvian for to eat? Est. The Latvian for to eat is est. What is the Latvian for to drink? Zert. The Latvian for to drink is zert. What's the Latvian for to hear? Zirdet. The Latvian for to hear is zirdet. What's the Latvian for to see? Redzet. The Latvian for to see is redzet. What's the Latvian for to want? Gribet. The Latvian for to want is gribet. Okay, and what's the Latvian for to be? Boot. The Latvian for to be is boot. Excellent. What's next? Next, let's demonstrate how we would use these words in sentences. And this is where I would like to also teach our Latvian language students and teachers of Latvian that listening is an important part of learning a conversational language. And what you want to learn is to listen without getting upset that you don't understand everything. Instead, Praise yourself for identifying some words in the language flow and figuring out some other from the visual clues and then filling in information by guessing. 
When I work with my clients who are beginners, they are surprised how precisely they can figure out messages even in complex political context when I teach them how to learn. I'm glad you mentioned that. I know from my own experience that this works. So I will start a dialect in Latvian and uh, hopefully you will play along. Absolutely. So the task for you, learners of Latvian, is to listen carefully and try to identify which of the verbs that we just taught to you are used in the dialogue and in what order. Also, see if you can pick out other words from the language flow and guess their meanings. But now I turn back to you, Irina, so you can start. Okay, so here goes. Sveika, Ilze. Ko tu dari? Sveika, Irina. Pašlaik ir septiņi no rīta. Un es ēdu brokastis. Ko tu parasti ēd brokastīs? Es ēdu auzu pārslu putru un dzeru kafiju. Man negaršo auzu pārslu putra, un mana ģimene arī to negrib ēst. Ko jūs parasti ēdat un dzerat brokastīs? Mēs brokastīs parasti ēdam sviestmaizes. Mēs ar vīru dzeram kafiju, bet bērni dzer tēju. Es dzirdu tev fonā bērnu balsis. Vai viņi grib ēst? Nē. Viņi ir paēduši, bet es redzu, ka tev blakus ir krūze. Ko tu dzer? Krūze ir tēja. Es esmu ļoti izslāpusi. Great, and that it for this free session. However, we expand on this in our latest issue of Latvian for English Speakers Club, or as we abbreviate it, L4ES Club. So, would you easily like to talk more about it? Absolutely. L4ES Club is an online space in which we place carefully crafted exercises for learners of Latvian of various levels. You can become a member of the club for only $10 a month, paid annually. Also, if you are a teacher of Latvian, we are offering to learn with us how to teach. And once we see that you succeed, we will provide you with an opportunity to get in front of our learners and promote your services. So, if you are either a learner of Latvian or a teacher of Latvian, you are welcome to contact us at info at ilzb.com to learn more. Yes, you're welcome to contact us directly by shooting us an email. But if you just want a transcript of our dialogue and its translation into English, you can download it by clicking the link around this video. Yes, click the link around this video to download the transcript and its translation. But now we are saying Ata! Ata! Und uz redzēšanos!